You ready, Dylan? Let's do it. Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? The other night, I feel really bad, actually. You know, it's okay. I don't need to say the names. Did you guys see the UFC? Homeboy got slammed from his guard. Please, 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 everybody out there that trains jujitsu, please stop jumping guard. I know you wanna do it for your tournament because in the tournament, the rules protect you. But in the real world, you're not protected by any rules. You must not jump guard. See, like in traditional jujitsu, guys, if we're grappling, I might have a, a, uh, an idea that I'm really good with the guard. And I'm, I, when I do this to a training partner, you know I'm jumping guard, so you're safe. Because I could also blow his knee out. That's another reason why I never have anybody jump guard. Because I don't want to hurt my training partner, but he's ready. If I jump guard and we start going down the mat, and I pull him down, and then I have a beautiful guard work, and I can take an arm bar and finish. Awesome. It's great for the sport if you're good at that. Guys, this is a problem. You can't do that. You don't ever want to jump guard. And this guy in the UFC didn't jump guard necessarily at first. He really got shot in on a double leg. So, um, you know, you're throwing the right hand. Boom, I swoop underneath and I lift. But the problem is, if you guys do this, this, this tendency of like, he obviously trained jiu-jitsu at some point. He felt like, oh, I got the guard. You know, you can't do this. Now that I'm here, what ended up happening, if you guys didn't see it, I don't know how you didn't see it, it's all over the internet. Where are you? Yeah, get back up. Come on, come on, go. Come on, go with it. Stop! He, the guy put his hand in front of the neck. You can get in close and see all these different angles here. He got in front of here where he has something. And then he went up and down. You'll watch, it's a really quick up and down. So he goes up, down. How'd that feel? Good. KO? <laughs> yeah. No KO. Okay. So, guys, the guy was out cold, as you saw. I know you guys already know it's stupid, but I'm pleading with jujitsu. I'm ple pleading with the jujitsu world. You guys make me and other jujitsu guys look stupid when you do that. Be but so that's why I'm calling you out. I'm cleaning up my own home team because I fly all the flags of wrestling, jiu-jitsu. I, 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 I love judo, I love sambo, catch wrestling. I'll fly all of them when they do really good things. But when they do something stupid, I'll call them out. Don't ever do that, guys. You're gonna get hurt. And you're, you can't do it out on the street. I, why am I even saying this? You guys know this, so stop doing it. But when you go back to your school and you, you're training for the sport, you think, oh, if I jump guard, it'll be good. I can get my guard. I'm a guard player. I don't care about wrestling. I don't care about that. Guys, look, so many better ways he could have dealt with that situation. And you don't even have to have a lock guard. The difference is, go ahead and shoot, shoot double leg. Boom, he shoots and he lifts and he locks and lifts. The second that my legs do this, I don't even have to have a lock. I can get bombed right now. Go ahead, give me one. So look, like that. Now, he didn't even try to hurt me because he has respect for me, whatever. Thank you, Dylan. But guys, look, when you, when you get lifted, you can't give a reaction of wrapping your legs. It's very dangerous. If I get lifted, I get caught and I get lifted. Guys, look, one idea. Take your hooks, put your hooks here. So that now, when you try to angle me downward, go. See, I'm controlling your legs, go. See that, then I put my foot down, it's very hard. And even if you did slam, even if I stay connected, slam, slam. See how I get slammed like this? There's no way that you gotta get the, the form of the neck. Okay. Let's get the form of the neck. So lift me up, get the form of the neck, now go. See how I landed? It's very hard when I'm pushing off your legs, but even better would just be here. Uh, he lifts me up. Guys, look at my legs. Um, I know it's hard, you're getting tired already. A little bit. I'm kind of fat. Okay, shoot double leg and lift. Lift, okay. Now guys, look. Look what I'm doing with my body. I don't want to swing my legs this way where I can get bombed. Instead, I arch in my back. Hold me up strong. I arch my back. And now, 
If you try to slam me towards my back, go. He drops me right on my feet. It's hard, huh? Oh, yeah. Not to mention you're getting tired. Yeah, I'm holding it with my arms. Yeah, it's so much easier if I'm a koala bear and I just go like this. He can hold me easily like this. He's not getting nearly as tired as when I do this. Now all oh, with your arms, you feel that? Yeah. So here, um, Sean, you wanna come on out? So watch, let you guys, he's getting a little tired. Why don't you lift him? Lift, and then lock around the body like a body lock. And then now go ahead, wrap, wrap your legs, and then practice uh, getting that form in the neck, uh, Sean, so you can bomb him, obviously on the crash pad. Or forward, slam, slam, good. And obviously maybe you guys are like taking each other, taking care of each other, and you don't wanna like put the guy's head but it is a crash pad. If he tucks his chin, you should be fine. Do one more and give him a good slam. You're not, you don't feel unsafe, right, Dylan? No. Go, come on. Get, get the phone in there. Slam him hard. How was that? Not bad with a crash pad. Not bad. But you know that would not be good. On the mat, that it would good. not be good. Concrete especially, but even on a mat, that could knock you out. Now look at the defend this time. Uh, shoots in, picks him up, defend. Arch in the back, yeah, or use your hooks. Try to, try to do something with him. Try to do something with him, Sean. Try to slam him. Yeah, it's very difficult. Go ahead, switch. Shoot in, he gets in, he picks him up. Try to slam him, go. Yes, very good. And then again, you, you guys can play like, arch your back, make it difficult for the guy to angle you. Then he'll be forced to try to swing your legs out and even still it'll be hard. You'll notice the size wise, Sean's a little smaller than Dylan, but if, if you just arch up, kind of arch up and like flex, stick your, st yeah, like this, make yourself like this, arch, arch, arch. Now try to swing him out. Don't let him, don't let him swing him out. Good, even that right there, see how he landed? He landed on hand and left foot and his right foot. Yes, by Sean reaching for the mat, he may hurt his shoulder with a lot of impact, but if you balance it with your hand and your foot, you may be fine. We don't need the crash back for this. Go ahead, bring him down. Bring him down, Dylan, one more time. And watch how, watch how uh, Sean keeps balance. Arch, arch up, arch up, don't, don't hang, yeah. Take this off his head. That'll make it even harder for him. Arch, 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 go, go. Try to set him somewhere, slam him. You see that? That's what I'm talking about. The guy won't even be able to slam you. Go ahead, one more time for you, and then we'll put it to bed. No, 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 uh, switch, switch. He gets to slam you. Shoots and slams, shoots in, boom, lift. Arch up, yeah, defend, defend. It's so hard to slam when you guys have a good position. But it's you guys that potato sack. Okay, last one, potato sack. This time, it's not the slam from the guard that we showed by the dummy who did that, but even just a simple double leg pickup, double leg pickup. If he potato sacks over the shoulder, now you're, you're asking for a big slam now, because now the legs can easily be swung, okay? Now, even this though, Sean can survive this better than if it was guard. If it was guard, oh my gosh, you can't stop it. You can't stop the slam, okay? Even if, I would rather be potato sacked than this. But instead of getting potato sacked from the lift, he goes in, one more time, he goes in, he goes in. Don't get potato sacked, just kind of defend, defend. Yes, lift him, come on Dylan, you gotta use that energy. Make that guy work. Yes, that's proper defense for Sean. If Sean can do that, he won't get bombed. But when you have training that you're doing, and I'm gonna say it, jujitsu reactions from pulling guard, from using your guard too much, you're gonna put yourself in a very dangerous situation. I don't train my students to, to uh, have those reactions. Um, and I wish that the jujitsu schools out there would stop um, creating these, these uh, jujitsu reactions so that it's not a part of our art. It shouldn't be. We don't, it's not combative. We don't want this. It makes us look bad. And so I call out the jujitsu guys, don't do that shit anymore. You look stupid. And, um, you know, and if someone ever does it to you, you get that form on the neck and knock them out. KO them. Make it an easy fight. All right? Thank you, boys. Thank I you. appreciate you. Please, if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up share the video. We have the links down below at Patreon, PayPal, if you want to contribute to this channel. I try to give you guys all I can with everything I have. 
and all the people that help me out with my channel, like Majit and many, many others. Anton, there's so many that help. So if you guys want to contribute to this channel, you can do so. Also, we have the YouTube membership. If you guys want to contribute uh, $2, $5, $10 a month or even more. If you're at the Purple Belt level, $10 or more. We do have some little secret content for you guys only. So go check out the membership. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time with more great stuff. And Mike Jeffrey, knee bar Mike, he's pretty cool too. Kind of a cool I did, guy. Let me give you a shout out. Cool guy over here. Yeah. yeah. Hold, holding the camera. I'm cooler than everyone else in this room besides Coach. Bullshit. <laughs>